Guys, I finally did it. I bought a hermit crab. You see, I've always found hermit crabs fascinating. For anyone who don't know, it's those crabs that change their shells and all of that. And um, yeah, man, I've always wanted one. But of course, the majority, well, pretty much all of the ones that you see at the pet stores, they are usually for marine tanks, you know, salt water and that. And yeah, I've never really seen any hermit crabs that you could keep in a freshwater tank. So I'm sure you can imagine the excitement I felt when I saw hermit crabs in in wholesale tropicals because they mainly specialize in freshwater and brackish so i knew as soon as i saw them hermit crabs that they're gonna be either freshwater or brackish and i was just keeping my fingers crossed that they were freshwater now when i asked the worker they told me it was brackish and i can't lie i was kind of gutted but he also told me that sometimes in nature they do migrate to freshwater. I would assume it's probably for breeding or something. But yeah, apparently those hermit crabs, they are mainly brackish, but they do sometimes migrate to freshwater. And well, I thought to myself, if they do migrate to freshwater in the wild to live there for a certain amount of time, then technically they should be all right in a freshwater tank full time right i don't know it kind of made sense in my head by the way if you're still watching please remember to like and subscribe it would really help me out and i'm just trying to grow this channel man but yeah, anyway here we are i've bought myself a hermit crab and i bought it for my 57 liter fluval flex i was thinking about putting him in my 200 liter but i thought he's gonna get lost straight away and also there's the danger that my mori eel is gonna eat him so yeah i thought he'll be safest in the fluval flex and for the first few days this little guy was thriving he was out and about and he was very active going all over the tank exploring all the little caves and he didn't even bother the cherry shrooms like that was the one thing i was kind of worried about i wasn't sure how it's going to react to the cherry shrooms because there's quite a few cherry shrooms in my fluval flex 57 every time the hermit crab went near the cherry shrooms it just left them alone he was humble man he was just going around checking out his new environment and he seemed to be very healthy by the way i know i keep saying he but i have no idea whether it's a he or she I, like you can't really tell with them so i just picked one of them to make it easier when i'm speaking about it please don't come at me for misgendering the hermit crab but yeah i did have one concern however the hermit crab didn't seem to be eating you see in my fluval flex the main food we feed is some flake food and the algae wafers and the flake food he wasn't really going for at all and the algae wafers he didn't seem to be going for them but at the same time those algae wafers do stay in the tank for at least an hour to an hour and a half before they're fully eaten and of course i didn't have the time to sit there for the whole hour so i wasn't too sure every time i did feed the tank of course i was sitting there and watching for a good 10 20 minutes but yeah it didn't seem to be going near the food but i can't be 100 sure because it could have happened when i wasn't there but it definitely concerned me this is why you should always ask in the shop where they actually feed the fish i can't lie this hermit crab was an impulse buyer for me and i you know i didn't think about asking the usual questions and this is why i was in this predicament but at the same time we have the internet so i thought let me do some research now the first thing i had to figure out is what was the actual specific species because for all i know maybe they just eat micro food you know like the algae or the little bits in the dirt or maybe the filter feeders i wasn't really sure and the only way i could find out is you know first find out what species it actually is and then see what they actually eat now here's where the problem arises. you see the hermit crab i had the shell it was using was from a rabbit snail and i'm pretty sure it got this shell from the fish store and online they were showing me these hermit crabs that were fresh water and that but they had completely different shells because of course they had the shells from whatever native snails were in those rivers or lakes wherever they come from so yeah basically identifying these hermit crabs was impossible because it was using a rabbit snail shell so I only really had one option left which is go back to the fish store and ask them what do they actually feed the hermit crabs I mean in hindsight I probably could have called them I don't know why I didn't but yeah at the time I decided you know what I think it was like a Wednesday and I thought to myself cool on the weekend I'm gonna go to the fish store and ask them what does the hermit crab actually eat and unfortunately that turned out to be a mistake because two days later before the weekend even arrived the hermit crab unfortunately passed away and yeah man I was absolutely Absolutely gutted. It looks like this was a failed experiment. Now, unfortunately, this is something I'm gonna have to get used to because I do quite a few experiments. The thing is, if you want a unique fish tank with loads of unique species, sometimes you are gonna have to do experiments because the more unique the fish is, the less information of it is out there because people just haven't tried anything out. You see, the only reason we know what we can and can't do with other fish species is because someone at some time tried it out, realized it doesn't work, and then that person, you know let the world know that you can't do these things for example keeping puffer fish and crabs together 
they just end up as a snack. Now, the only problem is I'm actually not 100% sure what killed the hermit crab. It could either be the fact that it wasn't eating, or it could be the fact that I put him in fresh water. But I'm pretty certain it'll be one of the two. Ugh, I can't lie, people. I am very tempted to try this again. But at the same time, I don't want to, you know, keep trying it out and then letting the poor guys die because that's just sad, man. I don't know. What do you think, people? Should I get another one and test it out one more time? Or do we get the results of the experiment? And the answer is you can't keep them in a fresh water tank let me know what you think in the comments down below people also remember to like and subscribe it really helps me out and i'm just trying to grow this channel man but yeah when it comes to these experiments sometimes they don't work but sometimes they actually do like it did with my mori eel and my ghost knife fish and i made a video about it if you want to see that then click right here